Hey everybody, it's me, Crystal Man 2000. In the last episode, we were giving a fish a piggyback ride. And in this episode, we are going to give this fishy, also known as Rudo, her mom's precious stone, which I think is the spiritual stone of water. Only I get to use that music! I finally found my mother's stone. I got very upset when Lord Jabu Jabu swallowed it. While I was feeding him, suddenly he swallowed me. I was so surprised I dropped it inside. But now that I found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. So take me home, right now. We can't even climb on the ledge, the ledge is too high to climb. Which I thought was pretty funny. Why is there an octopus? What have you been feeding this man? What have you been feeding this fish? There's an octopus in him. What? Are we feeding him calamari or something? Either way, here's the mini boss of the dungeon. Big Octo. Hit him with your boomerang. That'll stun him. When he unstuns, throw your boomerang again. Eh, that didn't work. Anyways, throw your boomerang. It'll stun him. You gotta need to get used to the timing of this. Ah. And throw a boomerang at him. That'll reveal his backside crouch stab since he's much stronger than normal stab. I did not mean to do that, but there you saw it's me. Big Octo. I believe you take. Wow! I never knew two crouch stabs actually killed him! Thought it was three! Holy cow! But apparently, now we gotta step on it for some reason. But, uh. Eh, my fairy. I got a diamond bottle! Well, either way, that's pretty much the end of the dungeon. There's really not, not much to it. Now, uh, don't be worried. You don't need to bother with Rudo anymore. Uh, th this dude always- I hate this- that- that Octorog. He's a- He's gonna be- I don't know the word. Annoying. Just kill him in advance. And that's it. Now, these like tongue like things hit them with their boomerang and they get like. They just like turn purple and stiff and you can walk on them. I really like to know like what fish's like internal organs are so it could act. So maybe. That'd be kind of cool if Nintendo actually based like this dungeon on the organs, but it probably isn't. Now it. What you're supposed to do is that over there, there's crates. You have to put those on this button, but I want to see if I can do a glitch. I had my sword out. I automatically failed it because I had my sword out. You gotta put your sword. Eh. It's a it's a hard glitch to do, but if you can if you get if you master it, it saves a lot of time. What you have to do is gotta go away. I failed that. Well, basically, you can freeze the thing and it causes the game to, like, force to buffer slower. So you can actually, like, get in there without bringing a crate over. You can do that in one more section in the game. Like, I believe the fifth dungeon of the game we can do this in. But in a speedrun, you would usually skip that over, so it's not like it would matter. Anyways... And there we go, that's the last skull to love the dungeon, right there. Now when you get all the skull to in a dungeon, which we haven't actually done yet, we look at our dungeon map, we have a skull to sign on it. That means we got every single skull to in the dungeon. Um 
in the next few episodes, I'm gonna be backtracking to the- to, like, places like the Great Deku Tree to get some. We couldn't get until now because we didn't have the boomerang. But, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna Z-tar that, and- WHERE DID THAT- THAT'S FAIR! WHO'S WALKING IN THE CUTSCENE?! Anyways, when you get rid of that, it's time to enter the boss, so... See if we can get rid of whatever this is. Get away from me! It's his heart! Bioelectra Nemanade Baronade. Starting off this boss with Baronade. Jump around him. You want to hit each one of these uh, things connected to the ceiling. Now, I always thought this kind of looked like Jabu Jabu's heart. That's why he's too stupid to live. Oh god. When he gets to this phase, stun him like that. And then crap, stab if you can. You can't throw another boomerang to stun him more, but... Now, this is phase two! Phase two is definitely a lot harder. What you have to do is you have to get lucky and get your boomerang between all of the, um... Jellyfish. It's kinda... hard to do. It's basically all luck bait. It's all... If you're, if you're a speedrunner, you probably could time this, but... There we go, when you get it out... You can slash these guys away. Don't use your boomerang, they take one hit from your sword and you'll get damage from it, so it's really useful. Now, this is actually a really long phase if boss. Like, this is, this is definitely one of the more complicated bosses in the game. Now, this is where the boss gets easy! We stop him with the boomerang and crouch stab fast as you can. Then, get hit. What well, those will do is that'll stop him from doing an attack where he can get hit his uh, jellyfish back. And it, it makes this boss so much longer. If you get hit immediately, you have a you have no percentage of getting of having that happen. While at this you have like a ten percent chance of that happening. Something like that. Also, while he's stunned, don't get hurt. And there goes Baronade, and he gets warts! And then blows up. Now, I really think we should have killed Jabu Jabu. Because this dude was connected into him, like, wouldn't you think that was his heart? Either way, we had our 10th heart container in my normal file. And... We find Rudo! I like your face in this skin. You're late. What took you so long? You're so useless. You're just lonely. That's all. Sure you were. Close up. Don't be a drama king, Ling. <laughs> you you look cooler than I thought you would be anyways. Just a little. Well anyways, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish for? Tell me. The spiritual stone. You mean the spiritual stone of water, Zora Sapphire? Don't you? Mother gave it to me and said I should get, give it to only the man who m will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. I don't want it anymore. All right, I'll give you my most priceless possession. Z I Link, swim away. Link, Link. Oh no, Link's in trouble. Hyrule doesn't need to be saved. No, it doesn't. Link, run while you can. Too late.
We have a wife that's a fish. You obtain Zora Sapphire. Her most precious possession. You don't know what she's talking about. What do you think? Uh, I swear, Link is the stupidest person alive. Don't tell my father. Anyways, that'll do it for this episode. So next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, I will be back to my normal file! Hooray! And we are going to get a ton, and I mean a ton, of extras. See you guys then.